And watch this, this is how simple it is now. I mean, it's unbelievable. Click and drag and replace. You're done, that's it. The media replacement feature for Mogerts for both After Effects and Premiere is unbelievable. It's something that recently came out with the latest version of After Effects and Premiere, and it's something we've been waiting for for a very long time. And you might be wondering, like, what is it? Well, essentially, it's the ability to change images and footage in Premiere Pro without ever leaving Premiere. What do I mean by that? Well, before, when we create Mogerts, we can change anything in a Mogert. For example, if you create a Mogert in After Effects, you can create images and things of that nature. Now, if you wanted to change any images in a Mogert, you had to preload them into a Mogert out of After Effects. So once you leave After Effects, once you export it into a Mogert from After Effects, and once you bring it into Premiere, you can't really like drag anything on top of it and replace. You can only edit what's already in it. And so because of that, we had to load all kinds of images, do all kinds of stuff. So the size of the Mogert was pretty big. Okay. Well, now you can just bring things in and replace images by just clicking and dragging. That's it. It's that simple. And so in this video, I want to talk about this particular mogul that I created back in 2019. So it's something I rigged up in After Effects for Fox Sports NFL. And I remember the reason why I want to talk about this one, because I remember back in 2019 when I was working on it, I remember thinking, wouldn't it be awesome to have an ability in Premiere to change images by just clicking and dragging? Well, now it's 2021 and that feature is finally here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna drag this into my sequence here. So we have this graphic and let me, before I show you how to replace the image in it, let me show you what it is. So I'm gonna preview this. So it kind of animates in and then out. Now remember, this is from 2019. So Cam Newton no longer plays for Carolina Panthers. So this animation, it animates in and out based on in and out points, right? So you can put, you can stretch it out however you want to, like you can move it anywhere. It's always gonna have the same in and out points. So if I preview this, it's gonna animate the same way in and out. So it's very responsive, very handy. You can move it around, again, stretch it, doesn't really matter, it's always gonna have the same in and out. Now, obviously it is a Mogert, so it has more options than that. You can select this, you can go to the essential graphics, edit, and here we have more options. You can put it on the right side, left side, you can change the team to something like Chicago Bears, Cincinnati, you name it. Whatever you change it to, it will automatically adjust the logo and the colors in the front here. So if I preview this, you can see, boom, it changes it. So you can keep going, change it to whatever team you want, and it will automatically adjust everything, which is handy. Now, I remember uh, working on this in 2019, and I remember the playback was pretty bad. Like, it was kind of choppy. But now, it's pretty fast. So Mogerts are getting faster and faster with each release. I'm pretty impressed actually over this. So yeah, so what else can we do? We're, we're gonna select this, now we get back to the essential graphics, edit, we can change the name. And I do have an image that I'm gonna change, Julian Edelman, I think that's the name. So let's do, let's do this. Let me type this in, Julian Edelman. And I think that's how you say his name. So as you can see, when you change the name, it changes up here, you can select this, you can type a very long name and it will automatically like resize everything, shrink stuff down, readjust. So it's very responsive in that way. You can change the the jersey number and the position of the player over here. So jersey number, you can kind of set it to whatever and it will adjust it. So Edelman is 11. There you go. And it adjusted it to 11. Then we have player position. So we can click on here and we can go to center. It'll go to center uh, and so on. So you can get any positions from football. So that's that's handy. Then we have image replacement, which I'll skip for right now. We'll, we'll cover that. We have, uh, let's see what else. So we have the title. You can adjust the title to whatever you want and it will adjust it. And this one is the same way too. It's responsive, so it's super long. It's gonna readjust itself. And the stats, if they're very long, they will adjust itself. And the same thing for this. So yeah, very awesome. And uh, so that's basically the nutshell of this graphic. Now, it seems like an easy thing to do, but before Mogerts, this was a nightmare. You had to go into After Effects, change images, drag images, re-render. I mean, you had to go into all kinds of compositions and change stuff, move things around. They, they weren't like responsive. It, you had to move things and they weren't consistent with each other because some things changed. And I mean, I remember creating that when I worked at Fox. I mean, it was annoying. So now with Mogerts, it, I mean, a lot of things are happening here. So you, the editors no longer have to bug uh, graphics people. And so, th so there's a lot of freedom in that area. 
But let me talk about this image replacement. So let's say you wanted to uh, replace the image, but first let's set it to the proper team. Let's do Patriots, so New England Patriots. Okay, so we have the proper logo, we have the proper animation here, let me preview this. And now we're gonna select this and we wanna change this image to this right here, this guy. All right, so to do that, it's very simple. Select this, navigate to the essential graphics, edit, and then now we have player image. And watch this, this is how simple it is now. I mean, it's unbelievable. Click and drag and replace. You're done, that's it. And now you can instantly play back and uh, yeah, it's working quite well. Let's, let me preview this again. That easy, I mean, you're not done yet. You can select this, maybe the image was not where you wanted it to be. You can adjust the size, like the scale, scale to fill, all kinds of stuff. You can adjust the size. I believe you can shrink it down some and it will shrink. You can move it on X and Y, you know, do all kinds of stuff, rotate it, you name it. All of that is possible in here. And if you are replacing it for like a video, then you can set the endpoint of that video to whatever you want. And yeah, this thing right here will change the way we do graphics for sure. Again, more goods are gonna be a lot smaller. You no longer have to leave Premiere to go and do any kind of loading images and all that jazz. I mean, I remember when I was creating this one, I had to create a script in After Effects that an editor would open up and because, you know, I just it's just a simple script, right? You push a button, you you tell the script where the images are, and then you say load. It would load all the images, re-export a new Mogurt. I remember creating that script. But now it's just a simple template, a simple motion graphic template that you can bring it into After or Premiere and then change images on the fly. So it definitely opens up to all kinds of possibilities. It's definitely gonna change the way we do graphics in uh, Premiere. And uh, if you are a motion graphic designer, I highly recommend that you start digging into expressions, how to do this kind of stuff, because this is a high demand. I mean, I talk to a lot of uh, broadcast companies. I, I mean, they reach out to me quite quite often asking for th this kind of stuff. And it looks like not many people are doing it. So I highly recommend that you learn how to do this. And with that, my name is Sergey Proknevsky. Thank you for watching. If you're not a part of our mentoring group on Facebook, it's a free mentoring group. You should definitely join. We have some giants of this industry in that group, teaching people, learning from each other. So it's a group, again, I always say this, it was solely created for like mentoring people. So people that are there are either learning or they're there to teach someone else or to do both. So if you wanna be a part of that, definitely join. We have like 6,000 and a half, uh, I think that's the final number right now. A lot of people are from all over the world. It's a cool community, you should definitely join. And uh, yeah, if you wanna support what we do here, you should definitely check out our uh, online store at ukramedia.com. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video.